video on how to thicken an object uh, to make it printable. On screen right now you can see a uh, Civil War soldier. This is actually a very small figure. It's about three inches tall, two or, th two or three inches tall uh, and wide. And you can see the detail on the, on the gun, so on and so forth. Uh, I guess unless you're printing using an SLA printer, this literally would not print like this. Uh, we've all seen that when we print models. Uh, they don't actually translate very well. You can see on the guy's face, the eyes, the nose, the ears. On an FDM printer, something that's this small would not translate very well. So what you want to do is you want to thicken the object. You want to set the lowest common denominator for detail. And we can do that. Uh, this We're in Mesh Lab right now taking a look at the object. Uh, but in Mesh Mixer, what you can do is in the uh, printing section of it, you can also do this when you uh, create a solid, but here what we're going to do is we're going to set for a minimum thickness, and that would be in the Model Repair section. We click on Model Repair, and if we're going to print it, say, 0 0.5, you know, 50 microns, uh, what I would normally do here is I would set this to 0 0.5. Now in this instance I'm actually going to set it to 0 0.6 uh, which will be slightly thicker than the nozzle. That means that anything, any, any detail in there will be slightly thicker than the thickness at which I'm printing which means I won't have sections of the print that will snap off or look particularly uh, horrendous uh, after it's printed. So you'll have a stronger part and you won't have weak sections of the print. This particular thing would obviously be printed with supports and I created another video on that recently. And we'll just give this one second to render correctly. Um, what this does is it allows us to have cons some consistency and while it doesn't necessarily guarantee that you will print properly uh, it will guarantee that nothing on there will be thinner than the nozzle resolution at which you're printing. Uh, now this particular model I found that when I use, as opposed to using PLA, uh, which is a very rigid plastic, uh, I've started to use flex material to print some of these models and I'm finding that uh, particularly the flex material uh, prints uh, these parts more consistently and allows me uh, to have uh, models that last a, lot, not last, last a lot longer. If you look on here now, you see how it's thickened up around the, uh, uh, the pistol. There is still detail on the face around the brim of the hat. And once we're done, we're done. Uh, and then you can export this. Uh, I'll send it to the printer if you're connected. And that's it. That's how you thicken a job uh, for uh, printing to guarantee that you will get... Uh,